Sundays at Zoo Canadians with roots in Pakistan and features community information and entertainment. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tujudur Sharif Allah wa salli ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa barik wa sallam. Mere Mawla Tera पाकिस्तान के साथ इंतखा अहमद आज यहाँ पे सरे में एक फंड रेजिंग हुआ है उसमें मौलाना साद नुमानी आए हुए थे सऊदी अरबिया से आज उनकी उन्होंने किरत के मुख्तलिफ तरीके से किरत सुनाई लेकिन इनका हाजिर होना यहाँ पे बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है और उनकी हाजिरी को हम गनीमत जानते हुए दिल अपना पाकिस्तान के लिए ये प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्ड कर रहे हैं तो आप कुछ कहना चाहेंगे यहाँ के लोगों के लिए कोई पैगाम देना चाहेंगे आ, मैं सबसे पहले तो इंतहा मशहूर हूँ यहाँ के लोगों का और दिल की गहराइयों से आ, इन सब का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ कि एक मरतबा फिर आप लोगों की मोहब्बत मुझे यहाँ खींच लाई और ये बिला शुबा कुरान पाक से मोहब्बत की बहुत बड़ी दलील है कि आज मैं दूसरी मरतबा यहाँ आप लोगों के दरमियान हूँ और माशाल्लाह मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगा यहाँ के लोगों से मिलके और स्पेशली जो यहाँ पे जो मैंने जो न्यू जनरेशन है जो बच्चों में मैंने तिलावत कुरान का शौक़ देखा जो मुझे नज़र आ रहा था दौरान तिलावत जब मैं पढ़ रहा था तो बच्चे भी मेरे साथ साथ दोहरा रहे थे और पढ़ रहे थे अल्लाह ताला इस शौक को जारी और सारी रखे बरकरार रखे और आपके इस चैनल के तवसत से अल्लाह ताला आपको भी और इस चैनल को भी और आपकी ज़ात को भी अवामनास के लिए यहाँ के लोगों के लिए यहाँ की आवाम के लिए यहाँ की न्यू जनरेशन के लिए यूथ के लिए खैर बरकत का और मनफात का जरिया बनता बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपकी दुआओं का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया पाक मुस्लिम कम्यूनिटीज़ के के लिए जो कि वैंकूवर में ख़ास तौर पे और पूरे कनाडा में और थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड ये आपका मैसेज पहुंचेगा और दुआओं का बहुत तलब शुक्रिया बहुत शुक्रिया आज बरकतों का आज दिन था बहुत सारे लोग इकट्ठे हुए थे कम्यूनिटी इकट्ठी हुई थी और अलहमद ला इट वॉज़ अ ग्रेट फंड रेजर और इंतखा साहब बहुत अच्छा प्रोग्राम लेके आते हैं और आज भी इन्होंने बड़ी अच्छी कवरेज की हमें खुशी है इस बात में शुक्रिया बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया Complete the fundraising efforts for Abu Bakr Society 
and those dear brothers and the committee members who have been working so hard to pay off the remaining debt for the Abu Bakr Islamic Center. So on behalf of those hardworking brothers and sisters and families who have made so much effort over the last three, four years to establish Abu Bakr Islamic Center and the Imams and the scholars who have put in their time to guide the congregation and the congregation itself. On behalf of them, I welcome you this evening to the Abu Bakr Society fundraising event. As you know, Abu Bakr Islamic Center was established just before Ramadan in 2016. The property was purchased. There was an opportunity identified. There was a need identified. Some brothers who were working very hard. Thank you. So now, uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your participation. I'm going to ask that we allow our seniors who are amongst us to please go and have start uh, getting their dinner before anyone else goes. So please, the seniors, please head over to the buffet tables. The ulama, please stay seated here at the tables, inshallah. We will have uh, dinner brought to you. UDC Design. नक्शों के लिए Vancouver Lower Mainland में जहाँ भी आपको ज़रूरत हो आप अपने नक्शे UDC Design से बनवाइए ये आपके मकान को चार चांद लगा देंगे नंबर है seven seven eight eight five eight eight seven nine four Vancouver की जान दिल अपना Pakistan Sundays at 3.30 p.m., Dil Afna Pakistan brings you Canadians with roots in Pakistan and features community information and entertainment. Pakistan. All your tax and accounting services call Zahid Chaudhary at Unit 202-775-0128 Street 604-779-4989 Zahid Chaudhary for your tax and accounting services. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as salam. MashaAllah, everyone's awake. Um, my name is Bilal Chima and I have the distinct uh, honor to be your uh, MC this evening as we hopefully, inshallah, complete the fundraising efforts for Abu Bakr Society and those dear brothers and the committee members who have been working so hard to pay off the remaining debt for the Abu Bakr Islamic Center. So on behalf of those hardworking brothers, and sisters and families who have made so much effort over the last three, four years to establish Abu Bakr Islamic Center and the Imams and the scholars who have put in their time to guide the congregation and the congregation itself. On behalf of them, I welcome you this evening to the Abu Bakr Society fundraising event. As you know, Abu Bakr Islamic Center was established just before Ramadan in 2016. The property was purchased. There was an opportunity identified. There was a need identified. Some brothers who were working very hard. And uh, Alhamdulillah, there's so many Muslims that live in the area. And it's only going to grow as this, inshallah, masajid grows as well. Before we get started, I'd like to call up uh, Hafiz Farhan to come and do some Talawat so we can start in the name of Allah, inshallah. 
He's a young man who's many that go to Abu Bakr Masjid or uh, Islamic Center know and uh, hear him lead uh, Tarawih during Ramadan and absolutely fall in love with this uh, resuscitation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbu al-mashriqayn wa rabbu
that we cut back on the noise, we make sure our children are, are quiet, and uh, everyone is listening attentively and enjoying this opportunity. I remember last year when Sheikh Sal was with us, it was a beautiful opportunity, I know for many, because we all go to, to the Haramein, and we go and we experience and we, we follow in Salah behind these big ships and we hear about them and here's an opportunity for them to come visit us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Once again, that we are here, I would like to thank uh, Mother Imran Islamic Center, Tamam Azrazka, Tamam Tazimika, my boy Mashkuru, Katama Pira, Sapsia, Bolakat, Kashafazi, Mashai, Olama, Aima, Sulaha, Tolaba, or Azizan, Katama Sapsia, Bolakat, Kashafazi, or
حسنت مستقرا ومقاما قل ما يعبأ بكم ربي لولا دعاؤكم فقد كذبتم فسوف يكون لزاما نقشوں کے لیے وینکوور لوور مین لینڈ میں جہاں بھی آپ کو ضرورت ہو آپ اپنے نقشے یو ڈی سی ڈیزائن سے بنوائیے یہ آپ کے مکان کو چار چاند لگا دیں گے نمبر ہے سیون سیون ایٹ ایٹ فائیو ایٹ All your tax and accounting services call Zahid Chaudhary at unit 202-775-0128 street 604-779-4989 Zahid Chaudhary for your tax and accounting services. <laughs> Oh, 
بالدين فذلك الذي يدعو اليتيم ولا يحب على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم
فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا الشيخ مشاري راشد العفاسي فرام كويت أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبت يدا سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب في جيدها حبل من مسد الشيخ عبد الله عواد الجهني حفظه الله فرام مسجد الحرام يبي همالي نوجبانه في اليفاق اہم ہے اگر ان کو پڑھا جائے سنا جائے اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله شیخ محمد ایوب رحمت اللہ علیہ مسجد نبی شریف میں سابق نمات اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین اہدنا الصراط المستقیم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد الشيخ صلاح المدين حفظه الله فرمس النبي الشريف أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك 
إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس سبحان الله دیکھیں ہم پھول کی ایک الگ خوشبو ہے سبحان اللہ جو لہجا پڑھتے جائیں سنتے جائیں اس کا ایک الگ ہی مزہ ہے آج کل جو ہمارا جو بنیادی مقصد ہے فنڈ ریزنگ جو ماشاءاللہ ہے یہ مسجد کی سلسلے میں آپ حضرات نے ماشاءاللہ اس طرح سے بڑھ چڑھ کے اس میں حصہ گیا اللہ تعالیٰ قبول فرمائے اور جسے قدیش شریف میں آتا ہے کہ من بنا اللہ مسجدا بن اللہ لہو بیتا فی الجنہ جو اللہ کے لئے اللہ کے گھر کے لئے یہاں پہ مدد کرے گھر بنایا اللہ تو اللہ کا اور جنت میں اس کے لئے بھی گھر بنا محل بنا یہ تو ایک سلسلہ تھا جو اصل جو مقصد یہ جو آپ کے سامنے تلاوت کرنا تھا اس کے پیسکی تیسے بھی ایک جو بنیادی بات ہے وہ یہ ہے کہ اطلاع القرآن بے لکھن العربی و سواتی قرآن پاک کو احسن انداز خوصورتی کے ساتھ اس طریقے سے اس کی تلاوت کی اللہ تعالیٰ نے قرآن پاک عربی زبان میں نازل کرنا ہے ہم کس کی تلاوت اس کے شائع شان طریقے سے کرتے ہیں یا نہیں دیکھیں قرآن پاک کا حفظ کرنا نہ تو فرض ہے نہ واجب ہے بہت بڑی فضیلت کی بات ہے بہت بڑا اچھا ہے لیکن قرآن کو صحیح پڑھنا یہ فرض اور واجب ہے اس کا احتمام کرنا ہے خاص طور سے ہماری نوجوان نسل جو یہاں اس وقت بیٹھی ہے ان کو بھی آپ دعوت دیں کہ قرآن پاک بڑھت میں اس طرح سے پڑھیں صورت انداز میں پڑھیں بہترین انداز میں پڑھیں تجگیل کے ساتھ مخارج کے لئے آیت کرتے ہیں اور جو بڑے حضرات یہاں بیٹھے ہیں آخری دس صورتیں میں آپ کے سامنے پیش کی کم از کم ہر مسلمان کو ایٹ لیس آخری دس صورتیں آنی چاہیے کیسی آنی چاہیے وہ ایسی آنی چاہیے کہ اگر نماز پڑھانے کی کہیں آپ کو ضرور پیش آ جائے تو آپ نماز پڑھا سکتے ہیں آپ نماز پڑھا سکتے ہیں مجھے انتہائی افسوس ہوا اتنا دکھ ہوا مجھے میں ایک چھوڑا سا واقعہ شیئر کرتا ہوں آپ کے ساتھ دبائی ائرپورٹ پر جو مسلح ہوتا ہے جہاں نماز پڑھتے ہیں مسافر نماز پڑھ کے میں نکل رہا تھا کہ دو ہمارے مسلمان بھائی ہمارے اپنی تھے وہ دونوں ایک دوسروں کو دیکھنے کے نماز آپ پڑھا ہیں وہ کہہ رہے ہیں آپ پڑھا ہیں دونوں میں سے کوئی بھی آگے بڑھنے کو تیار نہیں وہ کسی تیسرے کا انتظار کر رہے تھے کہ شاید تو بہت افسوس کا مقام ہے نماز آخری درسوتیں کم از کم پوری نماز اور آخری درسوتیں اس کا احتمال کریں خود بھی پڑھیں اپنے بچوں کو بھی دعوت دیں ان کو سکھائیں انشاءاللہ یہی کام آئے گا اور آخر میں افق حرم کے دو چمکتے سے تارے میرے خواہر میں کچھ رہ گئے اچھا جو نہیں ہو گئے افق حرم کے دو چمکتے سے تارے الشیخ شعور بن ابراہیم الشورین اور شیخ عبد الرحمن صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے انداز میں تلاوت پیش کرنا اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحیم مالك يوم الدين ایاك نعبد و ایاك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم 
and that one voice I remembered, and I messaged him while while Kaisab was reciting, and I said, "Isn't that that particular shape that we met?" And indeed, it was, and he confirmed it was. And I didn't hear him say the name, but all I did was hear that voice, and it just re I remembered that voice because those that get a chance to go there, you're never going to forget those those voices and those tones that Kaisab said make up the beautiful verses of the Quran, of the sheikhs and imams that recite those verses in both of those blessed places. So we thank Karisan Namani for being here with us and for sharing those verses and those varying diverse tones with us. And before we move on, I just want to uh, thank everyone for being quiet and most of the kids for being quiet and paying attention and being attentive to our featured guest, Alhamdulillah, that reflects well on all of us. So during the next little portion, we are going to do our fundraising. And we're fundraising, just remember, for not any old house. We're not fundraising for our houses. We're fundraising for the house of Allah. You guys had your pakoras, you had your tikkas, your fish tikkas, whatever it was. They should be having some energy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A little bit better, but not the way it should be. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa laqimatul muttaqeen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasuli Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi ajma'een. Amma ba'du fa'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Innama ya'amun masajid Allahi man amana billahi wa liyum al-akhir wa amila salih. Ila akhir laya, sadaq Allah al-Azim. Respected elders and friends, brothers and sisters of Islam, all praise are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, our nourisher, our sustainer, for having blessed us with this beautiful deen of Islam, creating us in the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today was the blessed day of Jum'ah. Allah gathering us here tonight on, on this, this night when thousands of people are earning the wrath and the anger and the displeasure of Allah. Allah has gathered us here tonight so that we can get the favors and the mercy and the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has brought us here. Allah has brought us here for a very, very great purpose. A purpose that was first fulfilled by Anbiya Ali Musalatu Wasalam. Allah had chosen Anbiya Ali Musalatu Wasalam to direct his house. In the awwal bayti wudi ali nas lalladhi bi bakkat mubaraka wa huda lil alameen. Adam alayhi salam built it. After the deluge, the flood of Nuh alayhi salam went down. Allah chose Ibrahim alayhi salam after a lot of sacrifice. وَإِذِبْتَلَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمْ مَهُونَ Do you remember that time when your Lord had put Ibrahim to many to a test? And he completed the test. After many tests, Allah now allowed him to build his house. Allah gave him that honor, subhanAllah. And imagine what sacrifice our forefather Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam going to the mountains, getting the rocks and bringing down and placing it. How much he must have joined, how much he must have you know, uh, suffered in the, in the heat of Makkah, in the climate of Makkah, but with the forbearance, subhanAllah, in number of Allah, Muhammad, you know, he was always forbearance, was always turning to Allah. Allah awarded him that opportunity. Then his son is half burnt, Baitul Mokaddas, 40 years later, according to the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi and then, subhanAllah, our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the first thing when he came to Medina Murawala, his body and his son was to be shared in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With a lot of sacrifice, leaving his birthplace, staying 14 days in Kuba, and then coming here to Medina Murawala, before he would burn his mansion, before he would burn his house, or the house of his daughters, or for his grandchildren, or all that was the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How important it is in the life of an Ummah, of a Muslim, 
in the life of an Ummati the house of Allah. You heard the beautiful recitation of our uh, Honorable Sheikh Sa'ad Humani of the different styles of Allah. How is the beauty of the Quran will come into the hearts of our children if we don't have the masajid, the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Ummati of Rasulullah Allah is giving us that opportunity which He gave the Anbiya alayhi salatu wa salam that build my house and I will build you that mansion in the year after. Build that house for me, I will build you that palace that you desire in this world. Such a palace, such a mansion where you have all the comforts, all the luxuries that you can even think of and that which you cannot even think of, that also I will give you subhanallah. You heard the hadith of our honorable Sheikh mentioned, these are the words of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We can never falter. We can never doubt the words of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We can doubt ourselves. We can doubt all other words. But the word of Allah and the word of Rasul sallallahu we have no doubt. If we have any doubt, there is something very, very wrong with our Imam. So alhamdulillah, the masjid is that place wherein the, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends first. The house of Allah, the masjid is that place where Allah looks at the, uh, the inhabitants of it and then He sends His blessings, subhanAllah. From the masjid huh, comes the blessings of the town, subhanAllah. You just heard, three years ago they bought the property, Allah made it easy, presented it to, their, to the community. Today every masjid is full, subhanAllah. You come to Bellevue, you know, you should be proud that you have this masjid. Maintain it, appreciate it, three years. December, uh, January 14th will be the third year that our masjid burnt. And up to now it's still not burnt. Because the, the, the challenges we face with the city, one of the worst places, one of the most difficult places in America is Bellevue. You want to open a religious organization, you want to open a school there, a, a, a religious school, whether it's Christianity, whether it's the Mormons next to us, or whether it's the Jewish school, the red tape that is in Bellevue is unimaginable. The lawyers, when you're working with them, they said the worst place when you're building our Marina Academy in the school 10 years ago, 12 years ago, he said the worst place to establish any religious institution is Bellevue because the, the laws and the regulations and the are so strict, which you will not find in other parts of America. Three years, we still have it. Alhamdulillah, two months ago, they gave us the permits. Two months ago, they gave us the permits. All of a sudden, the contract has got very green. So, Alhamdulillah, we still don't have that masjid, we have a rental to see. Inshallah, you may do it, Allah Ta'ala establishes it, Inshallah. But here, yeah, Allah has given you something. Allah has given you something, appreciate Allahumma inni, what was the dua of Rasul? Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min zawali ni'amati. Oh Allah, I seek protection in thee from your ni'ma being taken away, snatched away all of a sudden. Imagine you get up. You get a call at 3 in the morning to say your masjid is burning someone. And you were there at night at 9 p.m. The ladies halqa, the girls halqa, the finish at 9.30 p.m. Not when everybody went home. Not thinking, not even had this, you know, thought that the next morning for them we will not be able to perform them. Just gone. One crazy guy just put fire to it. And you don't have a masjid. Appreciate this house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is telling us, إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ masajid Allah. Man amana billahi wal yawmil akhir wa aqam as-salaah wa aad al-zakaah wa lam yakshu illa Allah. The maintainers of masajid are who? Those that believe in Allah in the last day. Every masjid is my, is my responsibility. Every house of Allah is my responsibility. It's not only the responsibility of these people. As the ummati of Rasulullah is my responsibility. They came to ask Rasulullah said, Ya Rasulullah, what is the fatwa with Rikyo concerning Baytul Muqaddas? Rasulullah said, Go there and perform salah. If you cannot perform salah, your responsibility is to see that you set the oil to be burnt in the lentils of Baytul Muqaddas. So every masjid is our responsibility. Allah has given us that opportunity. Allah is choosing us. Allah wants to favor us. When we give to Allah, Allah forgives all our sins. Allah increases, subhanAllah. Rasulullah says, I take qasam. I take qasam that you know, sadaqa will never, never decrease your wealth. Rather, sadaqa will only put barqa in the wealth. وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِيَنْفُزُوا مِنْ خَيْرِ Or what you give for Allah, Allah is going to multiply. وَاللَّهُ يُدَاعِفُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah multiplies for whomsoever He wishes. You give one, Allah can make it 700. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ وَانُ فِي سَبِيلَ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَنْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَةٍ فِي كُلِّ سُمُّلَةٍ مِيَتُحَبَّةٍ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ 
Multiply, multiply for who? For the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa You give one, Allah gives so much. And other, other nations did not get this opportunity. They did not get this honor. Allah is giving us this honor. And tonight, that is why we are here. We are here to see that how we can pay off the debt. Our beloved Nabi Salam took a debt to pay off Masjid al -Nabur. It was offered free to him. It was offered, Ya Rasulullah, take this debt. No, 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 we don't take that. Abu Bakr buy it. And so we'll settle it out afterwards. Sahar and Suhail, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, may Allah bless them with the palaces of Jannah. They, those orphans, orphans who were prepared to give their land for the house, for the masjid, for the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The said, no, we have to give sacrifice. When we sacrifice, we will appreciate it. Our progeny will appreciate it. Our progeny will benefit. Subhanallah, my respected brothers, today we are living in times that this is the legacy we leave behind for our children. At least on the day of Qiyamah, when you are standing, when Allah will take Hisa, said, Ya Allah, I gave what I could. I gave what I could. I did. Allah will even show you that this is what you did for my house. You, at the, such a time of fitna and fasad, where you're going to spend on your home, you're going to spend on the education of your children, your college, the, and the college education of your children, or the car, but you gave it for my house, for my pleasure. This is the Jannah I'm giving you, subhanAllah. So I want to see tonight that who is the first person, subhanAllah. You know, in Seattle, for masjids, we don't start with less, anything less than 25,000. Anything? Tomorrow night, I have to do for Boston. And there are also 300,000, 400,000 in Target. Nothing. We don't start with anything less than 25. So inshallah, I want to see here tonight who is that courageous person? Who has that himma in him? Himma te marda, marda te khuda. Allah's help will be with that person. Like Allah's help was on Abu Bakr. Allah's mercy was on Abu Bakr. Every door of Jannah will call out for Abu Bakr. Why? Whatever he had, he gave for Allah, for his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for the house of Allah also, inshallah. But who's the first one to say, I give 25,000? I had no intention. I came without intention of spending 25,000 here. Probably I came with the intention of giving 10,000 or 15,000 or 5,000. But I want to be honored on the day of Qiyamah in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in front of Sahaba Ikram. And uh, Allah make my entry into Jannah with Abu Bakr, inshallah. Who's the, who's the one I say give 25,000? Anyone want to just try? Inshallah. Man, you know, inshallah. 25,000, anybody there? Some people are lifting hands there, please. <laughs> Remember, you lift your hand. You're eligible, huh? So you guys say, okay, don't play around. 25,000, inshallah. Who's the 1,000, inshallah? 600, 5,000 dollars, inshallah. Allah reward you brothers. Any sister wants to give? Any sister wants to give $5,000? Knowing the bank account of your husband, mashallah. Inshallah, you give from there, inshallah. Allah ta'ala wa barakai. Inshallah. $5,000, inshallah. $5,000. Any family says that we'll give $5,000, inshallah? That I want to give $5,000 for my deceased mother or father? Then I'm not going to take too much time. Uh, unfortunately, we got delayed a little bit in the beginning. So we're going to try to wrap this up as quickly as possible. First of all, I would like to thank Qari Sadamani for accepting our invitation, for coming here. He's become a brother to me. We have been uh, conversating so much. It's, he's, like a, he's like a brother to me now. So Qari Sadamani, may Allah accept your efforts to uh, convey the message of the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you more barakah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you more tawfiq to spread the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sheikh Fazal, anytime I have personally asked you, you have not turned me down. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for your efforts. This is the third time we have asked the Sheikh to come. And he has come all the way from Seattle to help us out. He is an amazing man. I've known him for many, many years. And uh, I tell you, he's a gem. And the people of, uh, of Bellevue are truly blessed and very fortunate to have him as an Imam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you your family, increase you in your knowledge and give you more barakah inshallah. I would like to thank our sponsors. Uh, without, your, without your help, we are running a deficit in this program. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all inshallah. Herbal Land, Geopallet, Diamond Carpet, Brother Jameel Ahmed, Metro Transport, 
Takwa Foods, Zabiha, Lahore Sweets, Tanwali Travel, Taste of Lahore, Sending Truck Repair, Dean Pharmacy, Realistic Plumbing and Heating. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you more barakah. I personally and humble appeal to everyone here to please patronize these businesses. They have come forward to serve the house of Allah and I personally appeal to all of you to please help them out and support their businesses. A special thanks to our own Ikram. Thank you for coming. You are the stars of this program. You, your presence here is truly an honor for us to host you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all and give you jazaya khair inshallah. Jazakum khair. I would like to thank all the volunteers. Without the volunteers' help, obviously we could not pull this off. Uh, they're a very integral part of our operation and they have always been there to step up whenever we were at, we were we have asked for support. It's amazing, you know, these people. When it's snowing, we come to Abu Bakr Islamic Center. We don't know who did it, but the, the, the driveway is clear. You know, the washroom is clean. We don't know who's doing it, but we have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessed us with such mukhlisin brothers that, uh, you know, truly amazing. Thank you for everyone who's helped and in the hall. All the brothers who helped us, helped us out, Jazakumullah khair. I would like to thank our Imams, Mulan uh, Nabil, Mulan Muhammad, Hafiz Farhan. We have a young group and they're doing an amazing job, mashallah. May Allah accept from you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all. And, uh, um, you know, the young ulama in our, in our community, it's important for us to give them a chance. And uh, we have done that. And alhamdulillah, they're, they're doing a good job. Brother Bilal Chima, where did you take off to? Jazakumullah uh, thanks for uh, Thanks for your support. He's been a huge supporter. As for the success of, this, success of this program, you know, he's done a lot, a lot of work behind the scenes. So Brother Bilal, Jazakumullah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be working. We're just going to honor our two guests. First of all, I'd like to call upon um, my father. Uh, Haji Muhammad Yaqub to come up and present this plaque from uh, from the management uh, and the community, the management of Abu Bakr Islamic Center and the community. Uh, this plaque is uh, is for Sheikh Fazl. Sheikh Fazl, he's not here right now, is he? Okay, he's making one. So. Hari Sad, Hari Sad, please come up and uh, accept this plaque. This is presented to our guest of honor, Hari Sad Nomani. Sheikh Fazl is not here, he's, uh, he'll, he'll be back inshallah, so uh, in the meantime, I'm going to call upon uh, our MP Suk Daliwal. I'm going to give you two minutes, okay, that's it. Two minutes, no more. And I'm going to put you on a timer. But we'd be remiss if we did not give our brother Suk, who's been a huge uh, supporter of our community, to say a few words. Thank you. Imran, uh, Assalamu Alaikum, Barahmatullahi Barakatuh. And uh, I'll be very short, but I just want to thank all the sisters and brothers uh, who have come out today to support this uh, important cause because faith is, is very, very key to us. From faith comes hope, from hope everything uh, becomes possible. So I just want to thank you and thank the management of Abu Bakr Islamic Center for all the great work that they are doing. Because if we look at where we are as Canadians, in fact, uh, last week, uh, you know, I stood in the House of Commons to, I was going to speak on the throne speech, but I talked about the diversity, like, you know, I was talking about how, you know, last month we were celebrating 550th birthday of uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and uh, we were also celebrating the, the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and this month we are celebrating Christmas. This all starts with faith. So when it comes to Muslim faith, all the contribution that you have made, this 
will make our society a better society. It will give our children, you know, uh, the, the help that they need. And I also want to thank uh, uh, Brother uh, Sahib, uh, the President of the BCMA, and uh, Kali Sahib, and, and all the scholars uh, and volunteers who are here today. So, and I want to thank you again, your support, your love that you have given me. My family will always be indebted to you, and you are my family, and you are my first team. Allah Hafiz, let's enjoy the next part of the program. Thank you, Mr. Dadwal. I reminded Sukh of how much support the Muslim community gave him in the past two elections. And I said, Sukh, you have to bring your crew here and attend this program. And he came through. He brought his crew. So thank you to Sukh and your guests for joining us here today. You are always uh, welcome in our masjids. And we appreciate your help. And we continue, we look forward to continue to work with you to make Canada a better place for everyone, inshallah. Thank you. Inshallah, we will conclude our program by having dua. Uh, we would like to call upon Ali Saad Nomani to please come conclude with dua. But before Ali Saad makes dua, I want everyone to sit down, please. This is disrespect. Ali Saad is up here making dua. People are standing. This is a, this is disrespectful. So I would like everybody to have a seat. Please be patient. We're coming to the end now, and everybody will eat. So please have a seat. Once everybody is seated, I will hand the mic over to Kaji Saad Nomani and he will make dua to conclude this program. And then we will have dinner. And after dua, everyone please remain seated. We will have instructions uh, for how we will proceed for dinner. So please do not rush. We are Muslims, we are organized people. Let's not show otherwise. Jazakumullah khair. اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا برحمتك شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك إنه لا
أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم اجعلنا ممن توكل عليك فكفيته واستهداك فهديته واستنصرك فنصرته ودعاك فأجبته يا سميع الدعاء يا سميع الدعاء يا ذا المن والعطاء اللهم بارك في هذا المكان وأهله يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم هؤلاء عبادك اللهم هؤلاء عبادك يريدون جنتك ويخافون عذابك اللهم تقبل سعيهم اللهم تقبل سعيهم اللهم اكتب لهم الأجر اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم من الذين ينفقون أموالهم بالليل والنهار سرا وعلانية فلهم أجرهم عند ربهم ولا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم ممن يقال له من بنى لله مسجدا بنى الله له بيتا في الجنة يا ذا العطاء والفضل والمنة اللهم اكشف الغمة عن هذه الأمة واجمع قلوبها على الكتاب والسنة ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات إلهنا إلهنا وخالقنا
Please stay seated here at the tables, inshallah. We will have a dinner brought to you. میں سب سے پہلے تو انتہائی مشکور ہوں یہاں کے لوگوں کا اور دل کی گہرائیوں سے ان سب کا شکریہ ادا کرتا ہوں کہ ایک مرتبہ پھر آپ لوگوں کی محبت مجھے یہاں کھینچ لائی اور یہ بلا شبہ قرآن پاک سے محبت کی بہت بڑی دلیل ہے کہ آج میں دوسری مرتبہ یہاں آپ لوگوں کے درمیان ہوں اور ماشاءاللہ مجھے بڑا اچھا لگا یہاں کے لوگوں سے مل کے اور سپیشلی جو یہاں پہ جو میں نے جو نیو جنریشن ہے جو بچوں میں میں نے تلاوت قرآن کا ذوق دیکھا جو مجھے نظر آ رہا تھا دوران تلاوت جب میں پڑھ رہا تھا تو بچے بھی میرے ساتھ ساتھ دہرا رہے تھے اور پڑھ رہے تھے اللہ تعالیٰ شوق کو جاری اور ساری رکھے برقرار رکھے اور آپ کے اس چینل کے توسط سے اللہ تعالیٰ آپ کو بھی اور اس چینل کو بھی اور آپ کی ذات کو بھی عوام الناس کے لیے یہاں کے لوگوں کے لیے یہاں کی عوام کے لیے یہاں کی نیو جنریشن کے لیے یوتھ کے لیے خیر و برکت کا اور منفعت کا ذریعہ بنتا بہت بہت شکریہ آپ کی دعاؤں کا بہت بہت شکریہ پا گیا مسلم کمیونٹیز کے کے لیے جو کہ وینکوور میں خاص طور پہ اور پورے کینیڈا میں اور تھرو آؤٹ دا ورلڈ یہ آپ کا میسج پہنچے گا اور دعاؤں کا بہت طلب شکریہ بہت شکریہ